In this video, we're going to be looking at perfect competition. And we're going to be looking at four aspects of perfect competition. Firstly, what is perfect competition? Secondly, the characteristics that um, are associated with perfect competition. Then the demand formula and price setting. How do firms um, set prices? I will be doing another video which one will talk more specifically with diagrams into price setting. But let's make a start on this one. So what is perfect competition? Perfect competition is where there are a large number of uh, sellers of a good. This means that all of them are competitive, as the name suggests, but if a firm enters the market or leaves the market, it makes no difference to the overall market price. Why? Because they're a large number of firms, so it makes absolutely no difference. And we call these firms price takers because when they come into the market, they have to take the price of the market. They are not allowed to put their own price, as we'll see, because they will be adversely affected. So as we can see here, buyers and sellers cannot, make, cannot affect market price. They are price takers. There are four characteristics associated with perfect competition. The first one being all the products are homogeneous. This means that all the products are exactly identical. Secondly, there are no barriers to entry and exit. This is why there are a large number of firms in the first place. Thirdly, as we mentioned, there are a large number of not just sellers but buyers. This is a product which is in demand, not a niche market. There is perfect knowledge so that um, sellers know how much raw materials and the cost and how other firms are producing it and buyers know the market price for all the different types of firms. Now let's look at the demand formula. So as you can see I've written here, price equals demand equals marginal revenue equals average revenue. Now I'll try to go slow but this bit because it's slightly confusing. Now demand equals price because for any given price, there is only one demand. So for five pounds, there will only be a demand of so much. For example, if we go back to the micro basic diagram, if the, if the price was seven pounds, the demand can only be this much. If the price is seven, um, two pounds, then the demand can only be this much. And because price is the same, so is demand. Average revenue is the same as price because average revenue is the money we receive for um, one product and the price is the money we receive for one product, therefore they're the same. And marginal revenue too is the same because it is the money we receive for selling one extra unit. Now if we sell one extra unit, as we mentioned before, price is not going to change. Price is still going to be £5, therefore we will be receiving £5. This is why price equals demand equals marginal revenue equals average revenue. Now, how do firms set prices? Now, a firm sees this picture. And a market, we see this picture, we see the supply, we see the demand, we see the equilibrium. And we see this equilibrium is what this price is, so we're just going to say it's £5, just for namesake. Now, if a firm decided to sell at P1, and this price was £7.50. They will be in trouble. And the reason being because in a perfect market, consumers have perfect knowledge. This means they are aware that there is another firm down the road selling it for £5. So there will be a loss of consumers or demand. And if there are no consumers or demand, they will start making losses and basically um, they will lose out. That's why firm cannot sell at a higher, pri higher price. Now that's easier to understand than if a firm wanted to sell at P2, which we would say is £2.50. So they wanted to sell over here. Now the reason why a firm cannot sell there is because they will make losses. Now the reason why they will make losses is because we will need another diagram to show this, which I will go into more detail into in my other video. The reason being that the marginal cost, which is the cost of producing one extra unit, that will stay the same for all firms. Marginal cost. The average cost will also stay the same. Average cost. But the firm, if they decide to sell at this price, this means that the demand equals average revenue 
equals marginal revenue is only at the £2.50 level. This means that all of this area, marginal cost and average cost is greater than average revenue and marginal revenue. And if the cost is greater than the revenue, then here they're also making a loss. And this is a short term curve and if in the short term they don't survive, there is no long run. So this is how firms um, price it. They price it according to the market equilibrium, which is at this level. They do not go higher, they do not go lower. In my next video, I'll explain how firms can make profits and loss in the short run and what happens in the long run.